and I'm just going to try and fish the shallows for snapper. Got him. Plan worked. All right, well, this should be pretty exciting. This is a big workup. It looks like it might be Gannett. It's just crazy. There's so much. That's a solid car wipe. Just quickly go over some of the gear and stuff I use. Well, what a stunning morning. We're gonna go and do some saltwater fly fishing. I'm heading to Motuora. Gonna look for workups, gonna look for kawai, gonna look for kingfish, gonna look for snapper, anything that I can catch on fly. It's just gonna be awesome. Okay, let's try to get this show on the road. There we go. Woohoo, and we're almost ready to go. Just need to sort a few things out. Always a uh, logger Coast Guard trip report. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Coast Guard Radio, Coast Guard Radio, Coast Guard Radio. So I come for another look again quickly. We, me and Simon did quite well last time on the southern end of Motuora. And uh, just gonna check out and see if there's much around. It's a southwesterly, so this is not gonna be very sheltered. So I won't be here too long unless there's heaps happening. Um, there's just a drop off ledge area here that we did quite well in last time. It's looking pretty good. So uh, hopefully that means we can pick a few fish up. So I'm gonna start with the 10 weight predator rod this morning and the shield reel. And I've got my sinking line on there. It's like a 300 grain uh, shooting head sinking line. It's an old one, I can't remember what it is. It's like a six, six inches per second or something sinking line, 300 grain shooting head integrated. Um, and all I'm gonna do is cast that out. Actually gonna probably shift again shortly. I'm actually gonna put a cast or two out just to see what happens because there is the odd mark still in the cylinder even though it's quite shallow yes 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 we're on ah oh, it came off it came off it came off ah ah I'll initially stick with this big eye bait fish pattern for now. And uh, seeing as I have hooked up a fish, I'm gonna cast and let it sink quite deep because we are currently in 14 meters and most of the sign is a bit down towards the bottom, sort of 10 meters. Although there is fish further up as well. I've gone for a good old white clouser to see if I can get down. Yes, oh, I had to take another take. Followed it up right to the rod tip. Oh, how are being chased? Yes, 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 Woo. yes, hooked up. Yes. So in the shallows, that's where I'm hooking them up. It's 
fighting quite hard. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Woohoo! Kawai. Cool, I better get in the water before I go on the rocks. Whoa. Woohoo! Get that sea anchor up. Get away from the rocks. Well, that took a little bit of work. The deep drifting didn't quite work, but it seems there's a few in the shallows, so might do a couple of more drifts and then uh, go and have a coffee in the shelter somewhere. So, see what happens. Yeah, it's just crazy. There's so much going on on the sounder. Eh? It'd be really cool if I can pick something up. Surely, I mean, it's fish showing up to five, six meters. I must be getting that down there as well. Yes, yes, I mean, there's a fish on the surface as well. Oh, now he's going out for a run. Woken up. Nice. Very, very really nice. Oh, I came off at the boat. Ah, I was messing around too much with the uh, underwater GoPro and it came off. Nope. Oh, I think I'll drift this out and then go and find some shelter. Yes, yes, got him. <laughs> awesome, just coming up on that drop off. Woohoo! Oh man, so nice, so nice to be hooked up. Car wire, such a great sport on fly rods. <laughs> Hope you saw that. It's a jumper. Very cool. Nice, very nice car wide, 43 centimeters. Back into the drink. Ah, morning made already. That was very cool. Okay, I gotta go and seek shelter. I'm getting a bit cold. Okay, I'm in a nice sheltered bay in Motuora. Gonna have a coffee, gonna put the drone up and just have a bit of a relax and and see if we can find some snapper or something like that. Oh, it's important to bring a cuppa. Okay, so it's gonna be a bit of a different tactic now. I've swapped to the eight weight Predator and the VM reel. Uh, this is another one of the saltwater combo. And I'm on a floating line now and I'm just going to try and fish the, sh the shallows for snapper. I don't know how I'm going to be drifting. The wind's probably not going to play nice with the drift. So I'm probably constantly going to have to move. But essentially I'm fishing over shallow rocky reef areas and just plonking a fly into shallow likely looking areas. I'm also keeping an eye on the horizon, see if there's any workups of birds. I'm just casting it into likely looking holes, letting it sit for a little while and giving it a few strips. The fly's got tungsten dumbbell eyes. They should sink reasonably fast. Yes, got him. Got him. Plan work. Plan work. It's a nice fish. Perfect, that's what we wanted. Right in a little gut in between the uh, kelp and the rocks. Nice, he took quite hard, very cool. Nice snapper, cool. Okay, let's get that one back. Good to know the snapper right here. Oh, yep, got another one. 
This is a smaller one though, I think. Ah, nice. <laughs> the plan is working. Awesome. This is a small one, little one. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Two casts in a row, two fish. Okay, get that one back. Love to pick up a big kelpie. I have got quite light, probably a little bit on the light uh, tippet side on for it. I've gone with only um, 10 pound, which is probably a bit light for this terrain, but if I pick up something big. Yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, you might grieve me. Yes, 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 I'm gonna lock up on this one. I'm locking up, that's a big fish. Uh, that's a good fish. Uh, it's gonna limit, whatever the limit of this 10 pound is. That's a good fish. I'm just going to maneuver him out as best I can. Oh. That is a good fish. Swarming towards me. Oh, let's try and get this one out. below me. Oh, that's a great fish. That's a great fish. So I still have the underwater shots of this one. Yes! <laughs> now that's what it's all about. Let's give it a quick measure. 47 centimeters. Great fish. Absolutely great fish. Oh, ho, that's a lovely snapper. 47 centimeters. Absolutely perfect. Let's get that one back. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, I had to stop for a coffee. <laughs> Oh man, what a nice fish. Very, very happy about that. I'm gonna go back and set up for that drift. I've drifted to the other side of the bay now, but they're gonna do that drift again for sure. See if we can pick them more up. Anyway, such a good run and now no touches. Guess that's fishing for you. Yep, oh, I had a take, I had a take. I missed him, well, there was too much slack in my line. Got him this time. Yes, yes. Not a big one. <laughs> cool though, so cool. So awesome. That's a little one. They still take pretty hard. Only a little one, but well, there we go. Oh my goodness, there's a big bird woke up. Okay, time to pack up. All right, well, this should be pretty exciting. This is a big workup. It looks like it might be Gannett. Um, I have to see when I get there how it's all going to work. There's a lot of boats there. So, anyway, the idea with these workups is to, well, on the fly anyway, is to get in front of them, anticipate the direction they're going to move stop and let them come towards you uh, you don't want to drive through them or into them cool just look at that they're coming right here okay so fish all over the place I'll just let it sink for a bit fish I'll be holding at about eight meters okay. 
the main stuff is coming towards me. I might just get a chance here. Let's sink a bit. Okay, there's some stuff close enough down that I should be able to get down with this. Yes, 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 yes. Hooked up. Awesome. Woo! <laughs> this is the way. Fantastic. Oh, awesome. Woo! But this is a bigger one. <laughs> or it's trying to get eaten, maybe. Something's trying to eat it. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Kawai, I think. It's coming up. It's going to jump probably. Oh, I jumped back there. Oh, hook pulled. Ah, as it jumped. There's some I'm walking my way towards now. They're mainly turns and shear water, so generally that probably means car while on the surface, so that's good for me. Because it's slightly madness when it goes like this. I'm chasing not the gannets but busting car while busting up. But for fly rod it's quite challenging to uh, deal with these workups because as I said the gannets are keeping the fish down. The fish are all sitting sort of eight to ten meters. The wind is making me drift quite fast and the schools move really fast as well so quite challenging. I don't really know what the right fly is either. I'm trying various bait fish ones. So I, the first one was on a clouser but I lost that clouser on that fish. Birds have gone, moved past. All I can do is put a few casts out on my deep sinking line and see if there's some straggler fish around. So that's what I'm going to try. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Got him this time. Oh. Yes, finally. Now I just need to keep it on. This is a good car away. If it's a car away. If it's a car away. <laughs> oh, this is a good fish. If it comes up, it'll be a car away. It's got Oh, it's a carway. It's a decent sized carway though. Nice, listen to that sound. Oh, that's a good fish. I think something might be chasing him up because he's coming. Up weirdly, it's gonna jump. There it comes for a jump. Yep. Go away, jump. Head shakes. Nice, that's a good car away. Solid car away. Yes, nice, very nice. Woohoo! That's a solid carway. Really nice fish. Unfortunately, uh, the fly got him in the gills, so he's bleeding. So he's going to have to come home. But uh, it'll make good dinner for the uh, family. So he's definitely coming home. Really nice fish. Well, 
I had to cut my fly off because it's still stuck in the fish. <laughs> I will tie a new fly on and then uh, there's still heaps going on in the sounder below me and there's still fish passing me by. So I'll quickly tie on a fly and uh, I'm trying to have a coffee as well, but it's so exciting. So that was one of the big eye flies that did the trick. Although I've tied them with slightly smaller eyes by accident. It's that one. Simon's big eye. They're splashing here right behind me. They're everywhere underneath me as well. And behind me, look at it. Look at those splashes. And I hear some more. Right. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right. I was just on the phone when I hooked up. Currently just trying to land this fish. I feel like I had a knot somewhere in here as well. Oh yeah, I do. I'll try and sort that out. Ah, oh, nice. These are good sized car wire. Okay, come on. Get that rod angle a bit lower. It's easy to accidentally lift the rod a bit high when you're on the boat. Just pump them back. Use the butt of the rod and fight them. Big fat car wire. Yes. Alright, this one's hooked. Good for release. Really nice. Big fat car wire. Awesome. I think the other one's slightly bigger, so I'll measure that one. Let's just spear him back in. Woohoo, and off he goes. Well, this might get a bit windy now. I've lost my uh, lav mic to some technical issue with GoPro not connecting with it. We'll see what happens. While I'm about to clean up the boat, I thought I'd just quickly go over some of the gear and stuff I use and the flies as well. So probably the main successful fly today was uh, this bait fish pattern, which we call Simon's Big Eye, although I've tied it with a slightly smaller eye than usual. Just tied on a size two short shank stainless steel saltwater fly hook from Isla Fly Fishing. I also fished with a standard old white clouser uh, that got some fish as well. I lost the other one. I also got one fish on my favorite little anchovy pattern. It's just a basic anchovy pattern that I tie. This is a size four and works quite well in, in the Wairaki Golf. Then the snapper, I lost the main fly I was using today, but it was basically similar to this. It's just these sort of shrimpy patterns. This is size two. It's got rubber legs. It's got a bit of rubber fur there. The other one had some Arctic Fox, but orange bright. The snapper like bright stuff. So uh, the, the other one had slightly smaller dumbbell eyes, but they were tungsten dumbbell eyes. So another pattern that I find really successful for snapper in the Iraqi Gulf is this spawning mantis shrimp sort of pattern. Uh, I've adapted it from a bonefish pattern, works really well. Oh, this one's been sort of bent and straightened. I must have hooked the bottom at some stage. Uh, this is a size 2 by row probably, but I often tie them just a size 2 as well. So Another popular pattern for the snapper is this crazy Simon that has uh, pink dumbbell eyes. Found that quite successful. Uh, I've tied some myself as well. This one is from I Love Fly Fishing. They've got quite a good range of snapper sort of patterns on there. So have a look at the range of Charlies. That's pretty much the majority of the patterns that I use on the Iraqi Golf. Uh, sometimes I will do fish crease flies, poppers. Uh, this is just one I tied as well. I'll leave a link in the description to how to tie these. Fairly simple to tie. For reels today I use the shield reel. This is a nice saltwater fly reel, uh, good drag, sealed as well. And on this I had a shooting head sinking line. It's like a six inches per second probably sinking line with an integrated running line. Works really well, I've had it for years. I cannot remember what it is, 
it's probably I think it's like a 200 or 300, 300 grain or something like that works well on my 8 and my 10 weight it doesn't seem to matter which one and on that I just have uh, probably about six foot of tippet no, I generally fish 18 pound and uh, that seems to work get it down get it down and get to the fish both the rods I use are predators I've got an eight weight predator and a ten weight predator which I just interchangeably use the ten weights more intended for kingfish and stuff like that this is the other reel the VM reel and this has got the Isle of Fly Fishing floating line on there this is what I used for the snapper today on the eight weight for this I've got a bit of a longer leader setup I've got about 12 to 15 foot of 18 pound on there I actually had 10 pound on earlier just to get it to sink a bit quicker and all you want to do is just cast out and plonk those lines in this works really well really smooth drag on this reel it's not sealed but I just make sure I rinse out my reels I soak them in fresh water every time after I use them so make sure you clean them well so thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed all of that and hope you learned something I will see you in the next one